Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Colors of Mathematics and today we are going to find out the area and perimeter of the shape given below. So in order to find out the area and perimeter of the shape, we need to find the missing sides. The missing sides are, like first let us see what, are, what is given and what is missing. So this side is missing and this side is also missing. 8 centimeter is this whole side. 3 centimeter is this much. 5 centimeters is this much. 4 centimeters is this much. So, how do we figure out the missing sides? So, one possible way is to dis dis divide the shape into rectangles. So, one way of doing that is by drawing a line over here. So when I draw the line over here, I get two rectangles. This is the first one and this is the second one. So this is going to help me in finding out the missing side. Now one thing we, which we need to remember is that opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So now if you look at the first rectangle, this side should be equal to this side. So we come to know that this much is 3 centimeters. And now, if you look at this side and you look at the second rectangle, this is green, green, green side and this is 5 centimeters. So, this tells us that this whole side should be 5 centimeters. Now, because this much, the blue part is 3 centimeters, so the leftover green part should be equal to 2 centimeters because then only the opposite side, the side opposite to this side will be 5 centimeters. So now let's look at the second rectangle and you can see that this is 4 centimeters side. So the side opposite to this side should also be 4 centimeters. Now if this much is 4 centimeters, we have been told that this entire length from here to here it's 8 centimeters. So this tells us that this should be 4 centimeters. Now can you figure out the area of the first rectangle? Because we are now knowing both the dimensions of the first rectangle. So area of the first rectangle will be 4 into 3 that is 12 centimeters square and what will be the area of the second one it will be 5 centimeters this side into 4 centimeters so that would be equal to 20 centimeters squares so the total area of the shape will be 12 plus 20 which would be 32 centimeters square now, we, uh, this, every, all the sides are also known. So, we can figure out now the perimeter of the shape as well. So, let's just clear this picture and again write down all the sides. So, now I have written all the uh, outside boundary lengths clearly. So, let's start from one point and let's start calculating finding out the perimeter if i start walking from this point i first walk four centimeters so i am right going to write here four then i go this side i add another five then i go up then i go up like this so I add another 8 then I go this side I add another 3 I come down I add a 4 and then I go this way I add a 2 so when I add them up 9 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 8 17 17 plus 3 20 24 and 26 26 centimeters is the perimeter of this shape I hope you enjoyed watching the video Thank you. Goodbye.